hello everyone welcome back to our medical channel today we are going to talk about a condition that is seen in newborn babies called cephalohematoma it is the collection of blood between the baby's skull bones and the covering of bones which we call periosteum it happens usually during the delivery especially if the labor is long when the instrument like forceps or vacuum are used to help the baby come out. It looks like a soft swelling or bump on the baby's head. The important thing is the swelling does not cross the suture line of the skull bones because the blood is stabbed just above the bones and this is how doctors can tell it apart from another condition called caput succedaneum which cross the suture line of the skull bones. In most cases, cephalohematoma hematoma looks scary, but usually it's not dangerous. The swelling slowly gets absorbed by the body on its own, which may take a few weeks. Sometimes it can cause complications. The collected blood may break down and cause jaundice in the baby, which means yellowing the skin and eye. Rarely, if the swelling becomes very large, the baby may develop anemia. Infection inside the swelling are also very rare but possible. That's why doctors keep an eye on such babies. The good news is, most of the time no treatment is required. Doctors usually advise parents to wait and watch. The body will naturally clear the blood and it's very important not to press or puncture the swelling because that can cause infections and make things worse. The parents should keep the baby under regular checkups. Watch for jaundice or unusual changes in the baby's activity. Don't try home remedies or massage on the swelling. Always trust that with time the condition will improve. So if you ever notice a swelling on your newborn baby's head, don't panic, just visit the doctor for proper guidance. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe the channels.